Hi everyone, you're watching another video of SpaceX updates. Yesterday, in an event called Satellite 2023 held in DC, SpaceX's Vice President of Commercial Sales, Tom Ochenero said SpaceX is waiting for the approval of the FAAS launch license to announce the launch date of Starship Orbital Test Flight. He also said the test flight mission could be happening really soon. What it means is that SpaceX has applied for the license and I think water deluge is not mandatory for the license to be approved. Booster 7 is still near the orbital launch mount and going nowhere. It is a positive sign that it could quickly be lifted onto the OLM once again. But we don't expect the test flight to happen this month, do we? Additional work still continue on the OLM, and a new staircase is also raising. But the orbital launch mount looks so robust already with all the upgrades in recent months. Not much work is going on the booster as it looks to be flight ready. There is another big encouraging move at the Rocket Garden. The last two missing tiles on Starship S24 have been installed. Now, it looks like both the booster and the ship are ready for the test flight mission. Starship S26 was once again moved inside the high bay, maybe for engine installation. Despite less activity on the tank farm at the launch site, there has been regular delivery of liquid methane. Earlier this week on Tuesday, SpaceX launched its 17th mission of the year. NASA's SpaceX CRS-27 mission was launched atop a Falcon 9 rocket from Pad 39A at Kennedy Space Two, Center in Florida. One. Engines full power and lift off of CRS-27. Go Falcon, go Dragon. Falcon 9 soars off the launch pad. Dragon now on its way to the International Space Station with important new science experiments and crew supplies. Here is a spectacular view of the first stage separation and second stage engine ignition. After that, Booster B-1073, which was on its seventh flight, returned to Earth and landed on the drone Stage ship. Landing These landing deployed. shots of the Falcon 9 booster keep getting better and better. At this launch cadence, SpaceX could easily achieve over 80 launches breaking the previous record of 61 flights in 2022. Later today, Rocket Lab will attempt to launch its Stronger Together mission for Capella Space for a second time. The two-hour launch window opens at 6 p.m. Eastern Time at Launch Complex 2 in NASA Wallops facility in Virginia. The first launch attempt was scrubbed due to violations of weather conditions. Finally, for this video, Axiom Space unveiled the next-gen space suits for the upcoming moon mission starting from Artemis 3 mission. The new suit prototype is called the Axiom Extravehicular Mobility Unit. I am not a fan of this color palette, to be honest, but I am sure this is not the final color. Black particularly is not an ideal color for space environments. The spacesuit itself has a lot of new upgrades and changes to the current 40-year-old design suits. To learn more about the new suits, please visit Axiom Space's website. Well, that is it for this video. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching. See you again next time.